guys, it's Thespo. Welcome back to my channel here on Ventiquities. Today I have some exciting news. Um, I am announcing my Halloween birthday challenge giveaway. Um, this is going to be a challenge just like most people have their challenges um, where you make something, you send it in, and then you're entered into a drawing. And my prize is a $50 either PayPal or Amazon e-gift card. Um, so you get to choose between those two and, um, I am so excited because this morning it's like fall, it's September 1st and I have been in a Halloween mood for a while now. Um, my birthday is actually on October 13th and I am ready for Halloween. <laughs> so that's why the Halloween birthday challenge. Um, I am going to be running this challenge from September 1st to October 31st, which is Halloween. So um, a full two months to uh, work on your projects and send them in if you want to enter. The way this challenge is going to be set up, I have a, a several different options um, to kind of give more people a chance to enter. And uh, it's not just going to be paper craft. There's, you know, some jewelry craft, paper craft, mixed media, different people from different um, uh, artists backgrounds and however you feel you want to make something uh, are going to be able to enter. So the main categories, there are four options. You only have to choose one of the four options to be entered for the giveaway. You do not have to do anything else but send one of the four. There are going to be some bonus entries, but you have to do at least one of the four main entries to be eligible to use the bonus entries. So, the first uh, main entry option is to send a loaded envelope or a loaded bag. It could literally be, you know, a large, it doesn't even have to be large, but I'll tell you, you know, what needs to be in it. It can be an actual envelope that you've altered or that you have created yourself. It could be... A bag that you've made yourself out of maybe a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You can just fold it together, overlap it, and then you fold the bottom up, which creates a little space here and a pocket up here. That would create your own loaded bag. You could get one of these little um, treat bags. You fold the bottom up, attach the sides, then you have a pocket here and a pocket up here. Um, there are so many different videos on YouTube for loaded bags and loaded envelopes. Please go check some of those out. There's so many ideas and you'll just have a ball. Inside the loaded envelope or the loaded bag, you'll need to include one store-bought goodie. It could be stamps, dies, socks, um, 3D stickers, uh, embellishments, charms, whatever you want to put in there. Um, the only thing I ask is that you do not send 2D stickers, um, mainly because I don't use them. I have a lot of them in my stash, and I almost never use 2D stickers. For some reason, I just, I'm uninspired by 2D stickers. Um, I do use 3D stickers, which are, you know, have more details or whatever. I do tend to use those more often, so those are fine. Um, also in the loaded envelope, you'll need to include one card. Um, I love handmade cards, so if you want to hand make a card, I would be loving to have those. I also am uh, very fond of shaker cards, um, anything like that. Whatever you want to make, you can make a, a card. Uh, the third thing that needs to be in the envelope is two altered paper clips or clothespins or one of each. And then some punchies or die cuts from your stash, whatever you want to include. If you do punchies, like say you just have like stars or circles or something punch, um, punch those out of like, you know, some kind of Halloween cardstock or um, scrap of paper, something like that, so that they have some kind of interest. Um, if you do die cuts from your stash, um, use any color of um, Halloween colors of cardstock, like greens, uh, purple, orange, white, black, you know, anything that could be used for Halloween colors. And um, if you want to uh, include other things in the bag, that's fine. You don't have to. Um, so one loaded envelope or loaded bag that contains one store-bought goodie, 
one card, two altered paper clips, and some punchies or die cuts from your stash. The second option for a main entry is an embellishment box. This is one that I made last year, and it just takes a... You can get these little boxes at the Dollar Tree in the tool section. Very simple, just a small, thin box. You know, any kind of small plastic storage container um, that's got the different little compartments in it will work. I mean, you can get them like in the fishing tackle section of Walmart, stuff like that. Just, I just recommend these because they're a dollar, they're cheap. And I don't want people to have to spend a whole bunch of money on this stuff. Um, so, um, they've also got these at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are bigger, but you can use one of those. Um, you know, a lot of people don't have Dollar Tree. Like I said, you can find any, any smaller, um, like organizer storage organizer with the little compartments in it is perfectly fine if you can't find one and you want to make one at a chipboard that's fine too whatever you want to do it just needs to be a little embellishment box and it has to be decorated on the top in a halloween theme so you can see this one has some stitching and some stamping or some inking and cardstock and layers with sequins and ribbon and there's um, some rosettes and all kinds of details on this, some little, you know, ribbons and stuff. But um, so one embellishment box decorated and it has to have at least two handmade embellishments. Now handmade embellishment could be something simple like this. It's a little rosette made out of Halloween paper. Could be, you know, a resin charm that you've made. It could be a, you know, handmade decorated um, charm. I made this out of other Halloween charms last year. Um, it could be like little paper flowers in Halloween colors. Whatever you want to make, there must be at least two handmade embellishments inside. Um, also, you know, you know, the other embellishments, you know, beads, breads, um, buttons, tags, just anything, little three-dimensional stickers, anything kind of Halloween themed that will fit in here is fine. Just has to be at least two um, ha uh, handmade embellishments on that. So for your third option is a chunky book charm. Um, the chunky charm, this one was sent to me by Tina Tolliver last year um, in a swap. And I just love how chunky this is. Obviously, this one is kind of on the more chunky side. Um, if you don't want to get quite this chunky, that's okay. It just needs to, you know, don't send something with like one little strand with two beads on it or something. Because I don't consider that to be chunky. But if you would consider something to be chunky, then, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. This one is like on the upper end. There's a lot of details in this thing. It's like... All the little beads and, you know, little Halloween charms and, you know, just all kinds of little details in this thing. But, you know, beading is so much fun. It's kind of therapeutic. Just just get into your beading mode and um, have fun with it and uh, create a little chunky, big chunky charm. This one has a nice big lobster clasp, so it's easy to put on a junk journal or something. The other part of this um, the chunky book charm needs to come in a decorated container or housing. Like she made this coffin box into a charm holder. So she's got it hooked up to this. And then she decorated the background with all these cool little details. Nothing over the top as far as decorating the box, but it all comes together really nicely. She's got this cute little witch hat on top. Anyway. So you could do something like that. You could get a cardboard box and decorate it however you want and put your chunky book charm inside. Some kind of box, container, or housing for the chunky charm. That's the third option. And the fourth option, I don't have a, an example here, but you can find all kinds of tutorials online. Um, the fourth option is a fancy decorated potion bottle. Um, it should be made of a sturdy glass bottle, well packaged, or a test tube. Um, I would say, you know, somewhere either around six inches tall and smaller. Um, I just want you to have some fun with it and like really try to decorate it. Think um, sealing wax on the top or, you know, 
some various fibers and twines on the neck, bottleneck and, and charms hanging from them or a stamped image for the front or, you know, some kind of a 3D embellishment on the front that turns it into a potion bottle. Um, the only thing I don't want is like, you know, somebody grabs an empty mayonnaise jar and prints out a single layer print f label from the internet and that's it. Um, I want you to have some fun with this creativity, uh, creatively, and, um, you know, really get into the season. And I want to be able to show off your work and um, and have fun with it, you know. Um, I'm going to be doing videos of any of the entries and posting them here on my YouTube. I will be posting them on Instagram and on Pinterest where I have over 11,000 followers. So um, I want to make sure that I get all of your social media information so that I can send people to you. And um, I just really want to kind of help get you out there. And I want to share your creativity and I want to share in the season and have fun. And, um, you know, if this, this challenge isn't for you, I understand that. It's not for everyone. And um, I just appreciate everyone not being negative. Be positive. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say, then if you could please, like, carry on to the next video. Something else, you know, that more, might appeal to you more. Um, this is just supposed to be in fun and some way to celebrate my birthday and have fun with it. So, the... Four main options, a loaded envelope or bag, an embellishment box, a chunky book charm, or a decorated potion bottle. Those are the four main options. Now, there are also four bonus options. You can do these. You could choose one of them, or you could choose none of them. Um, it's up to you. If you want to get bonus points, it's your choice. You do not have to. Only one you have to do is choose one of the four main options to be entered into the giveaway for the $50. So, the four bonus points are a chunky shaker anything. It needs to be 3D. It needs to have some kind of a shaker element to it. I love bling. I love lots of, you know, sequins and shaker, you know, action on it. And it needs to be really cool. Uh, <laughs> it will be really cool regardless because anything shaker is cool, right? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, the second option is a set of six bows or flowers. I don't have the option, uh, the capability of cutting out the little bows and I just think they're so cute. Um, the bows or flowers can be any size. Uh, option number three is a sequins mix in a bag with a handmade bag topper. The bag topper needs to be reusable. So if you want to connect it with a paper clip or a single like staple that can be pulled out, something like that so that I can take the bag topper off and have it and use it if I want to. The last choice is to either create a video YouTube with a link to this video or share this video on social media anywhere that you're having your, you know, doing any of your posting. So, very simple. It sounds very complicated, but it's actually very simple. Just choose one of the four main entry options. Loaded envelope, embellishment box, chunky book charm, or a potion bottle. And if you do one of those and send them to me by October 31st, you will be entered into the giveaway. The bonus entries, you get one entry for each one that you choose. If you choose not to do any, that's okay. If you want one extra bonus point and you want to get one of those, that's cool. If you want all four bonus entries, you can do all four of them. It's up to you. Now, some styles. I really love, um, I really love glitter, Victorian, romantic, blingy, Halloween styles. Anything with a flourish on it, I love. Um, I love vintage Halloween stuff. It's really awesome, too. Um, I don't usually love cutesy Halloween, like with googly-eyed ghosts and stuff. That's more for children. I, I don't really get into that. But one exception is Pastelloween. I'm, I'm totally fine with googly-eyed ghosts if they're pink or blue. <laughs> um, so if you are going that route, please keep it with Pastelloween. Um, themes like Nightmare Before Christmas, Ruby Gloom, Tim Burton-esque type stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Totally fine. 
Um, otherwise, I just really want to see your creativity and, you know, how you like to decorate up the season and have fun. Um, please, please make sure that you have your information on the back of your entries. Um, maybe, you know, write your name, you know, legibly at the bottom or something so that I can find you and uh, an email address. Some way I can get a hold of you or your Instagram or something like that. Um, I will be doing follows. I will be following anybody that enters. I will be sharing your work. I will be sending people your way, doing video shout outs, and um, just trying to help out, you know, get the word out about your creativity and the things that you like to do as well. It's a the best thing about the challenges is, you know, getting to know other people and seeing what other people like to do. So thank you so, so much to all my subscribers. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, hit that subscribe button. If you want to enter my giveaway challenge, please subscribe and I will see what you guys send in. I'll start making videos. So September 1st to October 31st, one of the four main entries and then bonus points if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.